Hi, I'm Azzy. I live in England with my husband, two boys and our cat Snoop. I've been doing makeup for 17 years and I absolutely love it. In this video, I am going to show you how to create two scary horror looks. The first one being a special effect look without needing special effect products. This look you can achieve by using the stuff that you have at home or you can pick up from the supermarket. The second look is more of a scary look. This looks give illusion of being possessed. And for this look, you only need two face paints, a black and a white, and some other products that you most probably have at home already. For this look, we need white face paint, black face paint, bronzing powder, black eyeliner, some brushes and water. We are going to start with by applying the white face paint to the eyelid from the crease to the lash line. You want to apply a lot of product to this area because you want it to be white and bright and we're doing this first so it can set and dry before we add the black to it later. After this, we are going to apply a small amount of white paint all over the face, avoiding the eye area. We will blend it out with a brush or you can use your fingertips to blend it. After this, we are going to contour the cheekbones with a little bit of bronzing powder. Now we are going to apply the black around the eyes. We are going to start with by outlining the shape that we want around the eyes. And when we're happy with it, we will start with the black and fill it in. Just dab the brush gently against the skin with the product and just apply it to the skin and pack it onto the skin. After you're happy with your black, just gently take a fluffy brush and blend the edges and blend into the black so it all looks really smooth and blended. After we've done this, we're going to drag the black face paint down the face like as if it's dripping down. This needs to be really thin, so you're going to need a, quite a thin brush to use this or use the flat edge of your brush to just drag it against the skin. And once we've done this, we can just have a look and see if we're happy with the finish. And we are going to do our lips. We're going to use the black eyeliner to outline the lips. You can go over your lips a little bit for a more, bit more dramatic look. After you're happy with the outline, you're going to use the black face paint to fill in the lips. Fill the lips a natural shape and gently on the outside of the bottom lips, just drag the face paint down a bit. And like we did with the eyes, just do really nice sharp lines quite thin down from the paint under your chin area so it looks like it's ran down once you're happy with everything you've done just go back to the white eyelids and add a little bit of more white to it perhaps a little bit of more black 
to sharpen the lines because you want this area to be clean and you want it to be totally white because the whole idea of this look is when your eyes are closed it looks like you have white eyes like you're possessed so make sure that this white area is nice and clean and you don't have any black smudges in it and the, sh the line between the black and the white is very very sharp to finish the look i went to a discount shop and i bought the white wig and uh, my wig only costs three pounds which is about four dollars um, it doesn't have to be expensive you can just buy a cheap one they'll be everywhere you can order them online um, it's not a must, it's just a bit of extra to finish the look, so it's totally up to you if you want to add the wig to it or not. Thank you for watching my videos today. I hope you enjoyed it. I just want to say there's no right or wrong in makeup. Have fun with makeup, just experiment and be creative. Thank you for watching.